We're off, we're off. We've just done a running start. He's in already, he's going. So, let's be sensible about this. No need to hurry. We've got this in the bag already. Uh, 416 miles. Oh, I should push the key in. It's 11.08, it's 416 miles. I have a notoriously bad sense of direction and we'll probably get lost. That's it, <laughs> we're doing this. Funny, I wonder, uh, we'll probably follow each other now for like 100 miles and then we'll split paths because I think we're gonna go slightly different routes. So, this is exciting. Um, oh, I'm out of breath from running 10 feet to my car. It's not a race, it's, it's an endurance challenge, isn't it? That's the thing. So. is to see just how much overtaking Lee tries to do to get ahead to get himself to his next charging point. 402 miles, he's going to need two charges. That's two stops, minimum of 20 minutes each, that's 40 minutes. If I can stop for less than 40 minutes, well that's going to be a push in it on a seven hour drive. I think it's doable. We'll see. We will see. He's off. He's going to go. There's a quick car that day, can actually, but it is wide, and that's going to be a disadvantage on these smaller roads. But if we get stuck, if, if either one of us gets stuck behind something on this run down to Wick, it could be game over. It could be traffic that kills the challenge, not either of the capabilities of either of the cars. Yeah, there's a thought. to you you are you are flying um I'll tell you what if i wasn't behind you're sort of setting the pace if i wasn't behind you and following you i think i'd be going quite a bit slower yeah i'm, I'm i tell you what did you see that i've gone camera at the moment did you see this thing accelerate earlier on do you know what i did i thought flipping ecky has gone that is a quick car i tell you what i'm really i'm really glad you're in a taycan because one of my things one of my things when I'm doing long distance journeys is I'll often overtake someone just because I don't like the look of their car. Like if I get bored of looking at it, I'm not I'm not bored of looking at your Taycan. It's a nice thing to be behind. It's a beautiful car uh, to just look at, but it handles superbly. So I reckon I'm in with it. But even if I don't win, I can. camera angles all over the place it's because i've been filming the scenery we're, we're driving alongside the sea 
Um, we are about 55 miles in, give or take. Um, I think Lee is going to stop and get himself a coffee and have a wee at a petrol station or a service station. I'm going to wait until he's blasted ahead and he thinks he's ahead. Then I'm going to have a quick wee in a bush and get back on the road. Not messing around today, so that's my plan. Um, my fuel economy since we started is a measly 56.5. Um, not great at all. I mean, that's fine. Um, but I know this car can do 60. But the road that we've been on has been quite piggledy with quite a lot of ups and downs. So um, I'm sure that, that that fuel economy will increase. I'm still behind Lee. We're now both behind a um, Malazod's Coaches or M oh. McLeod, McLeod's, but spelled E-O-D, Scottish way. Looks like Malazod from here. Um, interesting font. So, yeah, both stopped behind a coach. 50 miles in, 362 miles to go. Six hours, 23 minutes. 362 miles. As soon as we get on the bigger roads, this BMW is laughing. Um, cruise control will be on and engaged at about 67 mile an hour. And other than we stops, I might grab a coffee somewhere. I've got everything I need in the car. Still noisy wipers. I've got replacement wipers. I should have feared them last night, but I was getting drunk with Canadians instead. Still waiting for Lee, look. I mean, I, I'm, I'm now two pints in. Um, Lee is, well, I don't know, out there somewhere, um, charging his Porsche, so. We'll see, what, see when he turns up. Let's see how these the, let's see how these Canadians roll. Oh, you can tell we're filming. Loving this car, loving it, absolutely loving it. Re really, really bonded with it. It's been a while since I bought something that I've just I've just bonded with like that. But I, I really have with this one. Yeah, two keys and oh look, second key there. It's impressive, isn't it, for a second-hand car, especially a Jeff car. Right. Back to it. Well, I just tried to phone you to ask if your pants were okay. it happen and I thought bloody hell that must have been a moment I think you hit one of the white lines in the center and uh, yeah. your, your car went it was only for a split second but your car went very slightly sideways well I did I yeah I, I did I did think that I thought well I bet you didn't enjoy that moment <laughs> I reckon I'm going to stop for a wee in a lay-by, Lee. Stop for a wee in a lay-by? Okay, well, on that bombshell, my friends, onwards. <laughs> <laughs> I want one with a view. Like, there's, there's got to be a parking space with a view of the sea. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, so I can pee into the wind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pissing into the wind like electric car ownership. Yeah, see what you can find. All right, nice one. All right, we've actually found some toilets by a co-op. Um, Lee has now just said he's going to put some charge in his car and then go find some fish and chips. Are you mad? We had breakfast like... No. No. Shall I just go? Shall I leave him? Now, he did say we were stopping for a wee and he wanted to talk about his near-death experience where he's taken slid a little bit. To be fair, it was pretty good. Um, but we've got here and the men's toilets are closed. Some chap is cleaning them. He's like, there's a sign on the door. The sign on the door is tiny. <laughs> so we just go in the ladies. 
I'm going to the ladies' toilet. You can do that in 2023, can't you? I mean, I'm wearing pink. Right, that's it. I'm going for a wee. I thought we were stopping for a wee, not a cheeky charge. I'm not putting diesel in mine. What I thought is, I might buy you a coffee or some, or some fish and chips or something. I'm playing the game here. I'm playing it clever. I mean, it's a win it. You're hungry, it's lunchtime. I just... Just ignore me charging a minute. I've got right. bad news. It's every man for himself. I'm going for a wee in the ladies' toilets and then I'm leaving. You're going in the ladies? I'm going. I'm going. 2023, you can be what you want. Iron Day to buy as a woman. I'm wearing pink. No. Bye. No. Not messing around. There he is in the back of the car park. We're off. I'm not, I'm not here to eat fish and chips. I'm not here to have a good time. I'm here to win. Let's go. He is as well. He's plugging in. He tried to offer me a coffee and a bag of chips. What, 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 it's, time. it's half past 12. We ate breakfast at eight o'clock. I'm not going to be hungry until six or seven o'clock tonight. I don't need a bag of chips and a coffee. You're mental. Look at him plugging his car in over there. Right. See ya. nicely now i've left lee behind he's charging and having some chips and a coffee um we've done about 80 miles and that's it and he's charging already little and often i know he said he was going to try and charge when he can I'm not hanging around um my current fuel economy is 57.6 distance to go is 336 five hours 46 minutes arrival um 20 to 7 so that's it now I'm not gonna do anything to the camera for a bit. I'm gonna get my head down. I'm not gonna get my head down. I'm gonna uh, get my foot down, but not too far down because I don't wanna do anything naughty. Um, you might say to me, Jeff, what are you listening to in your saloon? It's not a wagon. Um, nobody buys wagons. I've never really been into wagons or estate cars. I've always been more of a saloon person. <laughs> what a lie. Everybody who follows me on Facebook knows I don't like Range Rovers and I don't buy saloons. And in the last 10 days, I bought a Range Rover and a saloon. So Jeff, what are you listening to? Well, I'm actually um, listening to a Thomas Jack Kygo Remix DJ set. Um, it's about an hour and a half long. Not only is it very good driving music, but it reminds me of a family holiday we had in Spain some years ago when we drove down there, actually, an E46 320 diesel. So I'm gonna to listen to that and um, I'll update you in a bit. in a big line of traffic and I thought it was a lorry holding it up. It's a Tesla. There's a Model X going slower than everything. I'm behind a lorry, then there's four cars, then another lorry, then more cars, and then a Tesla Model X holding everybody up. But hilariously, I haven't changed the wipers yet, which is why the noise. I've just driven past a place called Keith. He's pulled over. The Tesla has pulled over. He's given up. What's going on? You just held everybody up for miles. Brilliant. A broken Tesla and a place called Keith. Love it. Absolutely love it. Just fine. Bye, Keith. Keith? Imagine if Jeff lived in Keith. I might move to Keith. That'd be great, wouldn't it? I'd rename it Keith Shershire. <laughs> oh, love it. Yeah, no, good. Smooth road. Um, I might um, get a drink at some point remount my camera mount because it's getting worse as we go and um, do a bit of an update. I haven't heard from Lee since I left him at the uh, at the fish, it was, I want to say fish and chip shop, it wasn't a fish and chip shop, it was a co-op 
a toilet and his cheeky plan to get me to slow down. Don't know where he is. <laughs> Keith. Yeah, I'll carry on, shall I? crazy glasses on but the sky's gone pretty grey and these are quite nice because they raise the light level a little bit they're quite nice on your eyes and it makes everything look happier than it is so they're really good for winter shall we call Lee the map master and um, see how he's doing I think we will hello just to charge because I'm not gonna make it to my honor tea are you not no, I've got three miles. Uh, uh, I've got literally, if I'd have got there, I was three miles under. Really? Yeah, I had a bit of a near miss as well, because I accelerated to overtake a lorry. Uh, oh, I say near miss, some guy flashed me, but I was miles off, really, but you know what they're like. Oh, it's probably just a Karen going the opposite direction. Yeah, it was. It was a Karen. I thought I was miles off, but still flashed me. I thought, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, so, yes. Uh, but, so, you're ahead at the moment. At the moment, I'm I am. to find yeah. the toilet. Yeah. Uh, but the toilets are closed for vandalism. I've only got 30 minutes or 45 minutes allowed in the car park. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I'm... I'm Odd, odd, odd phony. Why does Scotland give, give such names that you can't pronounce? Yeah, I did wonder that as well. Um, so I vandalised that toilet earlier on because I knew this would happen. <laughs> you shot off really quickly. That was unfair. That was a cause for. No, no, that's the rules of the game. You said you were taking it seriously. I wasn't there putting diesel in in the co-op car park. Um, so uh, well, it's going to be probably, I think, about 8 to 8.30 by the time we get there. Yeah. So, uh, unless you, st you... You've got to stop for a comfort break, so... I uh, might still be in with a chance. Well, I might have stopped already. I might have had a coffee. I might have had some donuts. I might have taken some pictures, bought some whiskey. You'll never know until you watch my video. Um, I'm not telling you where I am, mostly because I don't know. I am in some big mountainous area. Um stuck behind a transit van, basically. Um, right, okay. Well, I'm, if you feel free to have a coffee and take your time. I will be having a stop coming up. Um, yeah, so I, w I will be having another stop coming up. So, um, how far have you gone since the co-op then? How, uh, how many miles did you make it and how much did you put in on the co-op charge? Uh, I didn't. It didn't work. Oh, really? Right, okay. No, it didn't work, so... Uh, oh, that, 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 to be fair, I actually feel for you, because I feel like that would have been handy to put a few miles in there while you had a wee. So I I, I, I'm, I feel bad that that charge didn't work. That does suck. Yeah, because if I'd have, if I'd have put some charge in there, that would have got me to eye on them, let's see. Yeah, that would, have made, that would have made quite a difference then, wouldn't it? Yeah, but now uh, I'm looking... I'm walking around... Uh, uh, a very dark town with mountains in the distance for a toilet. Excellent. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, it's a kind of too because you have to go in somewhere, buy a coffee, to have a wee, uh, and then you need another wee. Yeah, absolutely. And as soon as you start drinking it, then then it's you know you're, you're shafted and you need to have more wees. So um, so your ETA is going to be about eight half eight, is it? I reckon so, unless I can make up time, so I'm trying my very best. I still reckon that, I still reckon that's not bad going though, you know, if you can get there for eight 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 or half eight. I still reckon that's well, pretty good going. Uh, rather than doing a splash and dash, I've had a vault and bolt. A vault and bolt? I like that. I reckon to that. Well what I'm what I may do, and this might work for you, is I might actually stop and when I get closer to the destination, I may brim my tank so I don't have to do that tomorrow, but then that will add time on today. So, you know, there's a bit of like Formula One strategy at play here. 
Right, well, I've got a charge, actually, ready for tomorrow as well. Yeah. So that could be... Yeah, I'm going to have to do that tonight, you see. Oh, I don't, I don't know. There must be chargers at the place we're going. It's a main, like, service station hotel on an M you know, the M6, which is, like, an arterial motorway. It must have chargers. Well, there's no rules that if you actually see one that you can tell me. It's starting to rain. And let me ring you back later, because I need a wish. All right, I'll speak to you in a bit. Really. Bye. See you in a bit, mate. Right. He's walking around a town. I haven't stopped since I saw him last. And he's walking around the town and having a coffee and a wee. <laughs> I don't need to stop for ages. Uh, I'm starting to need a wee, but not bad enough to, you know, need to stop. <laughs> cool. That's that, isn't it? That's... My, my ETA on my sat-nav is, um, I, I think it's quarter to eight. So, if he, best case scenario for both of us, I get there 15 minutes before him. I don't see how that's possible. I must be, I must be further ahead than that. I must be, unless he's been driving very fast. But, we'll find out in a bit. 60.1 miles to the gallon. It's going well. I think, to be honest, one of the main things that is making this trip an absolute joy is the stereo in this car. I can put one of my tropical house mixes on that I download off of YouTube. They're about an hour and a half long. And then an hour and a half just disappears as I bounce away in the car. Yeah, loving it. Right, I'll hang on a minute though, because I've just had a thought and I've done some man maths. I am 230 miles from my final destination and Lee is behind me. His maximum range today is 227 miles. So even if he was where I was right now with 100% battery, he would have to find a charger. But he's not where I am right now with 100% battery, he's further back. So that means he has to have the charge that he's putting in right now and then another one. So he's stopped right now, but he's gonna need to stop again to get to the destination. The only reason I need to stop is if I actually decide that I do need a wee quite badly or if I want a coffee, which at the moment I don't. Sometimes I find when I drink coffee that I have the coffee and then that starts the tiredness. But if I'm doing fine, I'll just carry on. I don't want to go and have a coffee and stop when I'm, I'm not feeling the re need right now. I've never yet had a coffee where I've pulled over and the coffee has been better than one I can make at home. At home, I do a double shot espresso out of my coffee machine, which I've probably talked about before on the channel because my wife bought it for me for Christmas some years ago. Um, so a double shot of nice coffee and then a little bit of boiling water and some raw milk. Best coffee, so creamy. A nice, creamy, satisfying coffee. You never get that when you're out and about. Like, I, ne I, I can't remember the last time I drank a coffee somewhere where I was like, oh yeah, that's a good coffee, that. It's always just average or rubbish. Anyway, the scenery's beautiful, so I'm gonna film it. works well the road doesn't work it's all stopped um, apparently we've got half a mile of road works it's red on my Google Maps I've got 209 miles to go but it's saying four hours 43 minutes how is it four hours 43 to do 200 miles surely if you're averaging 60 mile an hour you know speed equals distance divided by time I don't see how that can be 4 hours 43. The roads weren't that bad coming up here, and there isn't that much traffic. I know there's this bit, but I, I, I can't see that. My arrival time keeps changing as well. Earlier on it was half past seven, and now it's eight o'clock. What's going on? We're not moving, by the way. Let me zoom out. 
Oh, there's miles of it. Miles and miles. Oh, no, you are kidding. It's red for miles and miles. All the way to Little Dunkfield. Where am I now? I'm at Logirate. L-O-G-I-E-R-A-I-T. It's stopped all the way to Little Dunkfield. And then it goes blue again. So that is the problem. We're just outside Perth. Uh, not the one in Australia. And then from there, we hit Stirling, Falkirk and Glasgow. And then Glasgow down to Carlisle and then Carlisle to Kendall. Still got some ground to cover then. But this traffic situation is... Who's beeping who? No one can move anywhere. What's the point of anybody beeping anybody? You cannot move. No one is going anywhere. I don't think they were beeping me anyway. No. Um, I had a thought as well with this stop start. So I've just driven 210 miles, apart from stopping at the, um, the co-op with Lee. And then I get into this traffic having just come down, you know, I've had quite a while at 60, 70 mile an hour. And then I get down to this point, stop and the engine cuts out because it's got a stop start on it. But surely, and, and we know this, um, surely that's not good because when the engine's running, your fans are running and your radiator's running and everything's being cooled. And when your engine switches off, none of that is happening, but the engine's hot. Now I'm sure, I don't know much about this technology. I'm sure BMW thought about this when they designed it. Um, is that the reason why? The, you know, the, we had the problem with the police cars, didn't we? They'd go flying down the motorway, get to the scene of an accident, stop, and the car would catch fire. Um, is that was it to do with the stop start? I wonder. Just just occurred to me then. So I'm now sitting with my foot on the clutch um, because I just don't believe that the um, I don't believe the engine should shut off after a long run like that. The other thing is this car doesn't have a temperature gauge, which I find very odd, especially being a BMW because I've had that many BMWs in the past with cooling system problems. Um, I'd love to have a temperature gauge. It's just such a basic thing. And it's a great way to understand what is going on within your engine bay. Um, maybe that's the other problem with these BMWs catching fire. They're catching fire because people aren't realising that the car is getting really, really hot until it's too late. Or a warning light comes on, by which point it is too late. Why not, why not just have a temperature gauge? There's no tow rope. <laughs> like, you... If you're going to sit that close to someone, you don't give yourself any opportunity for anything to go wrong. Mental. Like, people just seem to forget the real basics of driving. So if you're that close to his bumper and he breaks down, you've then got to reverse to go around him. But if the guy behind you is doing the same, you're then trapped between two vehicles. Just leave yourself a bit of space for shit to go wrong in front of you. It's that simple. All right, fine. Okay, I, I am now happy to admit that I do need a break. Um, 210 miles covered today. It's half past three. We left at about 11. I know I did have a break because we all stopped for a wee with Lee, so. Also as well, this, as this video has now got a little bit longer, um, I kind of feel like and I know the official people and the Karens won't agree with this. I feel like different roads kind of are a break. So although I've been driving all day, I haven't been driving on the same roads all day. And I feel like that makes quite a difference. So now, and for the last however many miles, I've been on a dual carriageway. But prior to that, I was on fast single carriageway. And prior to that, I was on more country lanes. And prior to that, I had the sea next to me, which was beautiful and scenic. And I've also had forests as well and mountains. And a lot of that means you don't get bored and you don't really get tired because everything around you is constantly changing. Every 20, 30, 40 miles, things change. And a change is as good as a rest. See what I did there? You all knew I was coming to that, didn't you? I haven't dialed them. I haven't dialed the incorrect number. It's Lee, that's Lee's number. He saved in my phone as Lee, AKA the MacMaster. How can I possibly have dialed an incorrect number? Oh, it is, you know, it's a merge. That's why everybody's backing up. But how fast the merge? I hate this. It's such a British thing to do. 
people will get over like so far away and then they will deliberately try and block you from getting in. Well, I, I've queued, I've queued for two miles to make sure I'm in the right lane at the cones. I'm not letting you in because you should have queued like me. I want everybody to be as far back as I am. I want everybody to be at my position or ideally behind me because I have an incredibly small brain and my understanding of the world is weak. Nobeds, all of them nobeds. And then you find someone nice who lets you in like that guy. You say thank you very much and then you're sweet just gone past a thousand cars you're all idiots if you're sitting in that traffic you're all idiots my life is too short for that yeah I mean I'd love to speak to Lee right now but despite the fact that I've got five bars and 4G can't make a phone call I'd still rather be stuck in this in a diesel car with three quarters of a tank than in an electric car with, with even an electric car with full charge I don't know how long this is gonna last and I don't know how much like cars when they're idling they don't use up much diesel or petrol but an electric car when it's there and switched on and you're using the aircon and you're using the wipers and the heaters and the sound system and probably charging your phone and charging the 12 volt battery as well and they've got all the lights on that would be an interesting challenge wouldn't it right we're going to do stop start traffic for 10 miles in two different cars and see how it impacts the range I'll have to ask Lee in a minute when I can finally call it. Look, there's so much traffic, I was even able to get out and film. It goes for miles. What a joke. This is the main arterial route through Scotland. What are they doing? See that train going past? Carriages actually say on them, less CO2 rail. On tracks to zero carbon, keeping track on emissions. Really? What's on the train? Is it plastic shit from China? They're in on it, aren't they? Tesco are in on it. Thought I'd stop for a, thought I'd stop for a little wee and have a look at these rivers here. I'm just off the main road because I got bored of sitting in that traffic. There we go. It's all quite pretty. Proceed to the route. Oh, shut up. I'm trying to proceed to the route. I'm having problems with the route. This is the issue. Look at it. The route's not moving. It's raining. That's pretty, isn't it? Right. I'll have him a wee. We'll get back on the road. <laughs> Still got 5G, 4, 4G, sorry. Five bars of signal. Cannot make a phone call. This is unbelievably painful. Road works for three miles. My gosh. Come on. You can't do this to people. You can't do roadworks like this that are so disruptive it's just not fair yeah i'm stuck in it i think try it you're not that far behind me now you've massively massively caught me up I reckon I'm. Yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, because I thought about going that route myself, but didn't. So, um, has there been a huge accident then? Yeah, you must have missed it. No, I'm stuck in it. Oh, let's put the camera on. Ha! Now. Yeah. One second. Wait a minute. The tables have turned, mate. Oh dear. Hang on a minute. Okay. Oh my word, what's the 
Am I likely to see you floating down one of these rivers that I'm driving over? Yes. Okay. I'm amazed how much you've caught up, actually. Um, I have moved maybe three miles in an hour. Wow, okay. So... What made you not take the B road? Probably common sense, Jack. You know where there was that sign that said road closed flood, yeah? Yes. And you know that I had that Range Rover and I put those videos on YouTube of all those floods? Yes. That. You'll be in the sun. You'll be in the Sun newspaper again. Idiot in electric car ignores Claude Rose sign and floats down river. Make sure you get some good footage. I suspect that road was closed for a reason. Yes, it was. It's absolutely diabolical. Oh, my word. Right, hang on. Oh, jeez. There's literally... Oh, goodness gracious. This is not ideal. Right, OK. Here we go. There's rivers and waterfalls coming down the side of the road. That sounds beautiful. Bring, get, get me some photos. Uh, yeah. This is, this is not my best idea. I may... I, I'm either going to end up ahead of you, or... Well, it depends which way the river's flowing, doesn't it? It does. It does. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely gutted. If I'd known that the route was going to be like this, I would have said, let's go the longer way, which was the Fort William and Glencoe Pass. Um, this has been a very, very frustrating hour and a half, almost getting on for two hours now I've been here. Uh, well, this is, oh shit, this is bad, mate, this is bad. Um, yeah, I'm not happy about this. But to, to be fair, with the road as it is right now, have you got decent range? Because I really wouldn't want to be in an electric car that was, you know, trying to find a charger right now, because no one's moving. Well, I mean, I've got 62 miles of range and it's 19 miles to Ionity. Yeah, so, you should be right then. I should be, I should be okay. Oh, shit. Hang on. I should be further ahead of you based on how many stops you've had, though. So that's just that, that shows just how bad this traffic was. Well, this is not, this is not a good idea. I don't, I, don't think I don't think I made the right decision here. So you might have to turn back and join this traffic anyway. Yeah, but if I turn back, my range is going to be fucked get to the next charging point. Oh, I see, um, I see what you mean, because it's working out your distance based on that route, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck. This is... Do you know the problem is, it's fucking Scotland. As soon as we get out of Scotland, we'll be fine. I know, like... Ways. There's about two miles to get past these roadworks and then onto bigger roads, and then I can start making some proper progress out of Scotland. But at, at the... This has just been so frustrating. I, I think it's roadworks and an accident. Um, I mean, this is an incredible holdup. I don't. I don't ever remember sitting in traffic that takes this long, ever. This is mental. Oh Jesus Christ! We're through. What a joke. You can't just do. There's no one doing anything. Look at this, right, let me turn the camera around. Can you hear me? Yeah. Where are you? I've had
because I, I finally cleared the traffic, right? When I got through the traffic on the other side, when I went through the green light, I then drove at 65 to 70 mile an hour for six and a half minutes before I got to the end of the traffic going the other way. Six and a half minutes at 70 mile an hour. Insane. How can they, how can they close one lane of the main route into Scotland? It's insane. No, there's no accident. They've closed one lane. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, absolutely insane. I'm doing on the single carriageway now. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you, yeah. So I'm 13 miles from Perth. Uh, okay. I don't know where I am. I think I just missed a the turn there. Because I'm sure I'm going to go through. This is a shit show. An absolute shit show. And it's not our fault. That's the frustrating thing. It's not your car's fault. It's not my car's fault, it's roadworks. Yeah, you'll see it when you go past and you'll be as angry as I was. Yeah, like I said, six and a half minutes and 70 mile an hour to get to the end of the queue on the other side. Hi mate. Four cars waiting. Yeah. Every ionity charger taken up. Yeah. An hour and a half wait to even get the charger. Jesus Christ, with the traffic, I suppose we should have guessed. I didn't even think. So, absolutely madness. My only other thing now is, Porsche Perth are about a mile and a half away. And whether anybody's thought of that, I might be in with a better chance. I've charged it up there before, so I'm gonna try it. Do you know what? So, I I came past those dealerships and I thought I bet you could charge there. Yeah, I can. I've got my Porsche charging card. More expensive, but if nobody's on it, I'll pay it. I'll take it. You don't want to be waiting an hour and a half. What are you going to do for an hour and a half? I've, well, I ain't got, I ain't got time to wait. I ain't got time to wait. I mean, because that's an hour and a half before I get on the charger. Wow. So that is not hard. an hour and a half wait to get on the charger. I've then got 45 minutes to charge. Insane. Insane. Now, you tell me, I've planned my journey, I knew that I was going to charge up here, thank you. I knew that I was going to charge up here. So all these people that say, you plan your journey, I've planned it, it doesn't work like that. So what we're saying is basically electric cars only work when there's no major disruptions or roadworks, which at the minute are everywhere. So in that case then, electric cars don't work, do they? I mean, a diesel car barely works to cover this distance with the roadworks as they are. So how the hell are you going to do it in an electric car? It's insane. It's just not, it's not feasible. People are now in Starbucks getting coffee, spending money on coffee, waiting around, but they didn't leave the cars, so they're sending the partners out for coffee because they didn't leave the car, because oh. they'll lose the space, and anybody loses the space, and they've got talking to each other, going, oh, you know, they're first, they're first. It's madness here, mate, absolute madness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get, um, I'm going to try and get to Porsche, and if that's taken off, I'm just going to wait there. There's a cost next to it, so I'm going to try the Porsche charger. It, so, it sounds like that's your best bet. The likelihood is that not more, a lot of people might not know Porsche, so uh, I'm going to try that one. Wow. What a day. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Speak to you in a bit. Right, update. I'm just about to cross the big bridge. The big bridge over the river. Um... It was, it, it got ridiculously close. I was stuck in all of that traffic. Lee bypassed the traffic by taking a rat run that showed that the road was closed. He went through all manner of floods um, and all sorts of off-roading. I think he gained an hour and a half. However, my concerns, I've got no need to be concerned. I've got 190 miles or so left to do. Lee was desperate to get to an Ionity Charger fast paced charger and if he'd made it to the, it was going to be close basically but then he got to the charger all four chargers are completely full and there's an hour and a half wait just to get on to charge your car that is all due to the backlog caused by that traffic so electric cars 
do not work in any sort of unforeseen circumstances whatsoever. The traffic was horrendous. The roadworks were horrendous. The weather also has been pretty terrible. I haven't, I'm not concerned about range at all. I'm not concerned about range. I've got 470 miles left in the tank. Um, so it's not, it, it's not, that's not a concern. It's not even on my radar. Just insane. Like I feel, I feel for Lee now. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah, we want to bash the electric cars, but the guy's my friend and don't want him to get to, I want to win, but I don't want him to, I don't want him to not get there. And I don't want him to get there and be completely destroyed either. Right, that's it then. That's it, that's game over. He can't do it now because he can't charge. Um, it really is as simple as that. So I am now um, cruising. I'm cruising at 70 miles an hour. Fuel economy is showing 58.8. I've got about 150 miles left to go and I've got 475 miles range. So that's easy now. 150 miles is child's play. So I am going to be the first there. Like I think I said in my last video, I am now concerned that Lee isn't going to make it tonight at all. Um, and it's kind of not funny, is it? And I just, I just spoke, I just spoke to Mrs. Jeff, caught up with her because there'd been no signal for ages. And she said to me, um, she's got a one series. Uh, and she said to me, why don't we, why don't we sell the one series? And I'll have this, I'll have the three series that you're in. And when I think about it, that actually is quite a sensible thing to do. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna sell the wife's car, which is worth six grand maybe. And we'll put Mrs. Jeff in this BMW. And it could be a permanent member of the Jeff household. The car's been fantastic. Um, the, the trip itself hasn't been what I was hoping it would be. It hasn't been, you know, I know we're only doing John O'Groats to Land's End. I was hoping for some, you know, some scenery, maybe some nice photos, maybe some fantastic vistas. And these skies, these weird skies that we have now, just thick grey. Thick grey. I think... I think I saw one tiny flash of blue sky all day, and that was it. And uh, now it's going dark, end of the day. Like I said, 150 or so miles left to do, and that's, and that's the end, that is, that is our Scotland section finished. Um, it has taken significantly longer than I'd hoped, and I have to say that the road works it's, it's beyond unacceptable. Um, you can't do that to people. <laughs> it's just, it's so unbelievably not cool. I think as well, further down this road, there's night closures. So I don't, I don't know if I'm impacted by it yet. My geography isn't fantastic, but that would suck for Lee if he didn't make it in time and then he had to go down the rat run because the road is closed. Also, someone has been in touch and said that in Cornwall, it's the same. Again, I know I can make it because I have the range, but I don't know if, if Lee can, and it's like, that's a horrendous penalty, isn't it? For the fact that you didn't manage to make it to a point, you now have to endure a massive diversion. It's been an interesting day. I haven't seen Lee since the co-op this morning. We have been trying to speak on the phone a little bit. Um, but again, there's a conversation in that because for a big portion of the day, it was impossible to phone each other and have a conversation that worked. Interesting, very interesting. Yeah, my fuel economy is coming back up now, 60.1. Um, straight down the M8, I've got another 10 miles and then we're coming off towards Carlisle and then eventually towards Kendall. Don't know if the restaurant will be open at the hotel by the time we get there, I suspect it won't, which means we'll be going probably into Kendall for some food and a beer. The other problem is Lee won't be able to start the day with 100% battery. So yet again, tomorrow our day is gonna be delayed starting because we'll need to go and charge his Porsche first which actually, I don't mind, because it was quite good, 
to be together in the morning and make some videos and sort of chat about how the day was going to go. That worked quite well this morning at John O'Groats, even though we left a couple of hours after I thought that we would. Um, but no, fine, all fine really. Very interesting. It has been very interesting. That Taycan, it, it's a cool car. Like I said, I, I, I never got bored of being behind it um, for the short while that Lee was actually in front. It's a good looking car and a nice place to be. And if that's any consolation, you know, the Taycan is a nice place to be. However, the BMW, considering it was 2,650 quid and bought in a hurry, what a car. I've loved it. And I tell you what, the stop start technology on this car. I've been thinking this whole trip about at what point I would have preferred to be in the Volvo. And I do think the Volvo would have been better on fuel. However, with the amount of time that I spent in stop start traffic and riding the clutch, I would have been hating the Volvo at that point. It's got a very heavy clutch on it and it doesn't like doing that sort of driving. I would have been steaming up like anything because the aircon doesn't work. And it just, it would have been a very different experience doing this in the 850 TDI. I have to admit, the stop start and everything about this car, it was a superior machine for that section of road. I'm sorry, Volvo. Um, yeah. But, to be fair, my 850 TDI will never be sold. I will, I will always keep that. And if I want to keep this car in the family, it makes sense to move the wife's car out of the way to allow us to do that. That is the, that's a, that's a triumph from the round the country reliability run that was at John O'Groats a few weeks ago. Uh, I guess it's only just now making its way back home. <laughs> that's quite funny, but fair play to him for going faster than me. Yeah, there was something like 130 cars at John O'Groats and uh, Jason this morning was telling me that one of them didn't even make it out of the car park. And uh, yeah, fair play keeping those old cars on the road because it's important. And proving that they can still do it is important. And now I'm losing the light and therefore the quality on the video. I'll do one more update in a bit maybe before I get to my destination to talk about how Lee's getting on. What was that? No one was on them? No, but uh, uh, no one was on them. Cost me nearly 50 quid, 47 quid. Did it? Yeah, really expensive, the Porsche Chargers, but you know what? <laughs> I just know why I was waiting another hour and a half on top of that two and I'm back on the road again, 40 odd minutes. Yeah. Um, so I'm back on the road. Um, he says I'm going to get there at half nine, it's 184 miles. Yeah. And I've got 207 miles of range at the moment, so if you're all right in the morning, I'll just get there with a low charge and we'll just find one. Yeah. Fine. No, uh, just, just, get, just get yourself there now. I mean, um, yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you've managed to find a charge at all. I was, I was genuinely worried that I was going to be there on my own tonight. No, I'm, uh, I'm on the way. Um, yeah, but the weird thing was, I didn't do this on my camera, I was so in Costa, checked my car, and the car's unlocked, I thought, well, that's weird, so I got my coffee to go, and I got back and the car was all unlocked, I thought, that's really odd. And then anyway, I sat down, did a bit of work, went back into Costa, went to the loo, come back out, and my boot's unlocked, and it's undone, popped up. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you didn't like sit on your phone and open it with the app or something? No, nothing. Absolutely not. No, it's in my holster. So no. Weird. That really is weird. That's very, very weird. Brilliant. And just as and my car was smoking again, and as that was that, there was a guy pulling out a nice 911 with this. I thought, oh come on. That yeah, absolutely. Um Growling, growling engine. So yeah, but at least you've got you've got a decent charge on it and fairly fast as well. So you are at least on the road. Well, I don't think I'm going to make it all the way because you never know where the charge is. It goes down, but 
we'll see. Well, I was going uh, to say it's close, isn't it? So you've got 184 to do, and you've got 217 range. Well, it's gone down to 204 already, so that's that's going to make it. Well, it'd be a good video on your channel. <laughs> it's, uh, the thing is, I can't really see now, so I can't film it in a great deal. But um, I may have to just stop again and uh, just put it for like a 10 or 20 miles in or whatever. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm I'm glad you're rolling. Um, yeah. <laughs> wild. Absolutely wild. So I'm on the way, unless I turn my aircon off, that might give it everything. It depends where the charges are in Kendall, because I know there's not. The last time I did there was hardly any charges, there were slow charges, and that one's down underneath the. Um, underneath the booths. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Okay, cool. Well, I'll get to the hotel and I'll see if I can research anything to find out where any are and see if there's any local knowledge for you. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in, in, in the yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, all right, well, I'll, um, I'll keep a beer on ice for you. Well, at least I get that quicker than, <laughs> quicker than last night, so well, I'll see you in a bit. I'll see, yeah, you're actually arriving at a reasonable hour, we hope. <laughs> We don't speak too soon. Yeah, all right, I'll speak to you shortly. Bye. I only have a hundred miles left to go, so I am 80 miles ahead of Lee. Um, but at least it sounds like he's going to make it, and that's good. His ETA is now half past nine, which is an hour and a half after I'm due to get there. So, so much for the uh, so much for the drama. I don't have any problems at all in the BMW. I, actually, I've got one major complaint: the windscreen switch on this slot is, on this side is just a little bit too far forward. I feel like they should have put the switches somewhere else. It's quite a long reach on an E90 BMW. And that's it. That is the sum total of my complaints about the car. Right, that's it now. I am finishing 100 miles to go. See you at the hotel. Right then, ladies and gentlemen. Now then, viewers, as Lee would say, I am just about to come off the motorway to Killington Lake Services. Now, I booked Killing... <laughs> I booked a Days in Hotel Killington Lake, and maybe me, obviously I've got it all wrong. I thought that, you know, it was a nice lake, it be a great view. It's just a motorway service hotel. <laughs> uh, so, that's a little bit of a, um, a disappointment. I'd have booked somewhere nicer if I'd realized that. But I suppose it places as well for tomorrow. And Lee was concerned that there would be um, an electric car charging point here. Uh, and there is, which is good. Right then, I have arrived. Um, firstly, okay. I, I need to apologise for, um, we've both had a long drive and a stressful day and we should be checking into somewhere really nice to relax and I'm pretty sure this place is gonna be shit. <laughs> I truly this one, didn't I? Or did you check I, on it? I think you, you paid for it, but I think I chose it, so. Um, you didn't you didn't vet my decision well enough and I didn't research it well enough on the one hand you are you are sorted for a charger because there's there's a you've got a number of different options there's grid serve and there's ecotricity I think it is the other one um, I saw a sign for ecotricity or do they sell electric I'm not sure but um, yeah you're sweet basically for, for charging um, and yeah it's basically a hotel on a motorway service station in fact i think it's the kind of hotel that i normally drive past thinking oh my gosh i'm glad i'm not the sort of person that has to stay in places like that <laughs> well we i bought you we haven't paid for it yet we pay for it when we get there oh really um on the, yeah you pay for it on the night so but the room's booked but is it gonna be i mean how shit is it well i don't know i'll go and have a look um i mean it's literally next to the service station um so it depends. I, I, I'll, I'll go have a look. So we're not, so we're not anywhere near Kendall then. No, we're not really. Um, because uh, it looks very nice uh, online. It overlooks a lake, but come to think of it, Skelton Lake, it's Skelton Lake Services, isn't it? Yeah, 
So um, I feel like we've been. I feel I feel like like an EV person that's bought a car and isn't getting the correct range. We've been misled by what we were told. It was the picture of the lake that did it for me. Um, I'm going in there, right? And if there's no lake, we're going somewhere else. But I'll see you when you get here. Yeah, well, I don't. I think we. I, I think we just because I bought two rooms. Yeah. And it just says you have to pay when you get there, so I'll, I'll pay for one or whatever. But it's. I think we've got to. Otherwise, we get charged anyway. I think. I don't know. But well, no we, idea. what? Whatever. All we need to do is sleep here, so it's not the end of the world, is it? Um, but I think maybe let's have a chat about getting something nice in Cornwall then for set for um, tomorrow night. Yeah, because that, I, I, I should have known, actually, because I know what I thought. I thought, oh, Skelton, man. Yeah. It's like a shitty pond in the back. Yeah, well, never mind. We'll be well-placed for getting on the road tomorrow, at least. So, all right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll see you when you get here. I'll go, I'll go check it out. All right, see you in a minute. See you in a bit. Bye, mate. wonder if Lee is used to the finer things in life. And, um, yeah. You know, these influencers that like get in their hotel rooms and then post amazing photos of the hotel rooms that they're in. This is not that moment. I've cocked up so badly here, so badly. I must have rushed it when I was, what, like, what was I thinking? Look, the curtains are made of plastic. What, what even, what is that material? That is, that's, abs uh, that's a plastic tablecloth two beds in here and obviously I only need the one anyway the walls knackered there's no there's no food there's no bar like how 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 did I mess this up so badly I'm really really annoyed at myself because what we needed tonight was a nice hotel and a bar and what we've got is just crap but on the plus side I've got a care package that was waiting for me at the hotel from a clothing company called J Browns. So um, I'm really happy that that is at this hotel. I'm just really sad that it is at this hotel and we are at this hotel as well. Well, I say we, number two isn't here yet. He's an hour away. And then when he gets here, we're gonna have to take my car to go find some food because he's gonna need to charge his car. So yeah, don't worry, Lee, I'll drive tonight. <laughs> Look at this, look. Well done, Jeff. Pair of YouTube influencers, you know, and like influencing people to not, don't do it like this. Do better research, get a nicer hotel. Right, I said to Lee to make it up to him, I'm gonna find us somewhere really nice tomorrow night in Cornwall, because this is an absolute joke. The carpet, look at, look at the shape of the carpet there. It's like, oh. it's paid for now. And that means I've like got to get on Google and try and find another hotel. And at the end of the day, we only need to sleep here. I say we, he has his own room. Um, and then we'll hit the road in the morning, but I, I do like to leave a ho I usually like to leave a hotel in the morning feeling cleaner than when I arrived. And I feel like tomorrow, my, f oh, I don't know, I can go past my house. I'll go past my house and have a shower tomorrow. I'll probably have time because Lee will be charging. Right, that is genuinely it now. Um, I've also got this parcel as well, which you probably noticed, which is some, they're from Climb Air UK. That is wind deflectors for the side of the E40, E46. No, it's not an E46, it's an E90. Um, that's some wind deflectors that go on the front windows and they're meant to be very, very good. They sent them to me at the hotel as well so I could fit them for the run down, which was clever, wasn't it? Because I was driving up in the rain thinking it'd be really nice to have the window open and the air just wicking away nicely next to me. So I ordered some wind, I phoned them actually, hands-free obviously. And um, and I, 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 I've paid for them, they're paid, I didn't get them free. Um, I was hoping I would, but they never offered. Um, anyway, so I'll fit those. Urgent, please give to guests Jeff Thompson and Lee Davey ASAP 
Guaranteed midday delivery. What's the other one say? FAO Lee Davy and Jeff Thompson. Days in Killington Lake Services. That see it says services on there. I didn't realise it was Killington Lake Services. I thought it was Killington Lake. I thought, oh no, it's Killington Lake. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a hotel on a lake for the night. Killing time now because Lee's still not here. But I will be driving him out for dinner. Right, the problem is the devil makes work for idle hands and my hands have been idle because I've been here idling for like an hour waiting for Lee. I'm dressed for dinner in my new Joe Brown's shirt, squeaky chair. Thank you very much Joe Brown's for uh, sorting me out with something to wear for dinner. Hopefully Lee will arrive at some point, but whilst I've been waiting for him, I've actually run both of our cars through We Buy Any Car. Now, mine is coming up at £905, but that's kind of fair enough because I only paid £2,600 for it. But Lee's is coming up at £43,485. Now, when my car was new, um, it probably, well, in fact, I can tell you because I got an email earlier on from a gentleman who helps me out with BMW stuff. He says my car would have been um, £31,600 when it was new. So in the time that it's been on the road, it's lost most of that value, as you would expect. But Lee's car, and there's a difference here because my car is 14 years old. Lee's car is only two years old, and we by any car are saying it is worth... £43,485, which is a pretty significant difference. So I think um, that is a totally pointless experiment because you can't really go off we buy any car values. But um, the gentleman with the cheap car is the one who got here first and got to the bar, which wasn't there because there is no bar at this hotel. So we've learned nothing. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Actually, we can do this video very formally instead of in the back of the car. I'm at the hotel waiting for my dinner date to arrive, but unfortunately my dinner date for tonight is an hour late. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Let me tell you about the car that I've just driven all the way to this hotel to sit and wait for my dinner date. It is a 2008 BMW 320D Edition M in carbon Schwartz with Dakota Schwartz leather interior. Um, in terms of the specification of the car, check this out. M Sport suspension, leather steering wheel, aerodynamics package, limited sport edition, cool. Uh, comfort and interior, luggage compartment package, floor mats, warning triangle, interior mirror with automatic dip, Isofix sports seat, heat seaters, driver and passenger, and interior mouldings in aluminium glacier silver. Multimedia, navigation system, professional. BMW Assist, BMW Online, voice control, preparation for mobile phone, business, for doing business. Hi-Fi system, professional, DSP, it's actually Logic 7. Uh, provisions for BMW 6 CD changer and a USB audio interface. Driver assistance, park distance control, rear, Fog lights, rain sensor, automatic air conditioning, cruise control, and the lights package, fog lights. Wheels and drive. Oh, it's also got those lights in the doors as well when you open the doors. Very cool. Um, multifunction F steering wheel, BMW light alloy wheel, radial spoke 216, otherwise known as motorsport wheels, uh, lock and wheel bolts. Environment and safety, alarm, model lettering deleted from the factory, debadged from the factory. Um, exterior parts in vehicle colour. National version for England or Ireland, um, language version English, dealer list Europe, uh, emission of non-combined operation, don't know what that means, onboard liter literature in English, coding for the alarm, automatic locking during starting, car identity number visible from the outside, and control unit COP, don't know. Um, individual equipment, high gloss shadow line, it's a shadow line, everybody loves a shadow line BMW, individual sunshade glazing that's tinted glass from the factory and an anthracite headlining black headlining what does black headlining mean it's an m sport everybody knows that 
other equipment, uh, something to do with CO2 equipment, auto stop start, which has been dead handy today. It also says brake energy regeneration, but I'm not sure on that one. What does that mean on an E90? You tell me. Um, and a 90 amp hour AGM battery. Available upgrades is the black grill. Now it's chrome on the outside, but black on the inside. I don't know if they were all chrome. I think they were all like that, but that might be an option as well. Um, and that's basically it. High specification vehicle. Um, very nice limited edition car. Now you're saying, Jeff, what about the maintenance? Well, it's done 144,000 miles and it was serviced at, it was PDI'd at Lister Park in 2008. And then it's serviced at Sandal Motors Bay and BMW, then Sitna Sheffield until 2011, then Rob Jones Mercedes and BMW until 2017, and then a garage in Willenhall, and most recently at MBM Auto House. So it was last serviced in June this year. So my services, and I apologise if you're finding this boring, um, 19,000, 37,000, 48,000, 56, 69, 74, 87, 96, 103, 109, 115, 121, 127, 133, 141. It's on 144 now, just ticked over to 144 today. So, all the people that were saying you've bought a dog, absolutely not. Um, in the service history, I've got 5,294 pounds worth of receipts, and that includes the clutch and flywheel in 2021. Um, and the all important timing chain and tensioners as part of recall was done in 2015. So what we have is a very well cared for, very nice specification car that arrived one and a half hours before the £120,000 Porsche Taycan electric car. Apologies for the video in a hotel room. This isn't only fans, this is still Jeff Boss Cars. And do you like my new shirt? JoeBrowns.co.uk have dressed me for dinner, but unfortunately, my guest for dinner still isn't here. Where is he? He said he was going to be 37 minutes. That was more than 37 minutes ago. I am hungry. I've been hanging out in this rubbish hotel for an hour. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we're on home turf. We go M6, M5, A30, Cornwall. That's like a home game for me. Do you know how many hours of my life I've spent on the M5 and then the A30? This is a home game in front of my home crowd. I've got a very, very Jeff shirt for tomorrow. You'll notice I've been wearing a hoodie. Scotland's not my bag. Lee knows the Lake District. We're on home turf tomorrow. We're going to Cornwall. We have got this in the bag, straight off the bat, straight out of the car park, straight out of the hotel room. Thank you for watching. Well, apparently he's here. Somewhere. I can see him coming. Do you know, excuse me, do you know roughly what time I checked in? Can you tell on your system? I don't follow you, just bear with me. I'll just be curious. You're just concerned about your colleague. He should be here by now. Oh, he's just pulling up. I just want to see how much I beat him by. <laughs> oh, is he here now? Yeah, he's walking down now. Here he is, I'll get the door for him, he'll be very tired. Um, I'm not going to swear, but this is a bit rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's a bed. Uh, it's a bed. Yeah, and it's been an eventful journey. Yeah. I gained an hour. Yeah, and then lost an hour. And then lost an hour. Yeah. Uh, because the charging points were all in use, by the way, and I planned my journey. That was at uh, Ionity. There was three cars. I don't know whether you've told them this. Three cars waiting. Literally, I think it was like an hour to 45 minutes to an hour to wait before you get on them. Mental. So then I had to go to Porsche, charge there. That cost me nearly 50 quid to charge up. There was nobody there, by the way. Yeah. Then I went into Costa. Uh, got back to my car, it was open and the boot was open because it opened itself. After driving through a flood, it was just, it's just been a manic. It's yeah. I've, I've, had, I've had some major problems with the cheap BMW, to be fair. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the window switch for the driver's window is just slightly too far forward. <laughs> <laughs> get yourself settled and then we'll, we'll go get some dinner. I think I've stayed here before, actually. I should have known. So, yeah. I oh, you. 
What? You've seen it before? Yeah, I think I have, yeah. It rings a bell, I think, yeah. The, the lake? We, we did used to have a restaurant, to be fair. You did? We did. But the right. nearest restaurant must be miles away from no, here. No, it's about six miles. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's just what we want. You have to take your car, because my, my car's out of charge. <laughs> <laughs> get yourself checked in and I'll get us some food. Right, there we go. Oh, look, I'm already dressed for dinner and ready. And um, there we go. The Lee, the McMaster, has arrived. Lee, uh, you're only actually about an hour behind me. I thought it was an hour and a half, but it's only an hour, isn't it? You checked, no, you checked in at 25 past eight. 25 past eight. But you were about, you, there must have been 15, 20 minutes where you were deciding whether you were gonna stay or not. <laughs> So yeah. It possibly was about an hour and a half. Yeah, okay, so about an hour and a half. All right. I was trying to give you some extra time there, Lee, to be fair, but yeah, probably about so an hour and a half is about right. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you're not, you don't have to no, be no, on I gained an hour. You, gained, an you hour. gained an hour, yeah. I gained an hour because I went on the flooded road. The dramatic flooded road. The dramatic road. flooded road. Yeah. Which was, so, yeah, so I nearly got washed away. Washed away. I nearly got washed That'd away. That'd be a really good clickbait title, wouldn't it? I got washed, washed away, away in my EV. In my EV. And I died. So I. And <laughs> <laughs> out of my depth in my EV. What are you feeling for food? What do you fancy? And I'll Google it up, we'll find it. Uh, this is a late district. Unless you go to Kendall. If you go to Kendall. We'll go to Kendall. We'll go to Kendall. We'll get a pizza takeaway. Or something. A pizza takeaway? Like They've got a bit of tandoori or Indian in Kendall. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. Can't get tea in Kendall. We'll see what we can find. You can get some mint cake. Kendall. <laughs> <laughs>